Bombs missing on chains, I don't like that. Uh, good morning, everybody, and welcome to the Lashham Daily Briefing for Friday, 17th of May, 2024. So we'll start off as usual with the synoptic charts. So this was um, midnight last night. Um, basically, there's low pressures all over the place. I mentioned them all yesterday, I counted about six yesterday, and there's no real difference today. Um uh, however, they're a little bit more influential with the weather to the north. We're in a sort of, um, if I show a slightly sort of uh, unstable, a very small ridge actually, uh, and behind uh, these sort of frontal systems which are affecting the uh, the country further to the north. So we're going to be in a sort of reasonably dry, um, southerly type airflow around here. And there are fronts away from us, but they're not really going to affect us. I'm not really worried about these trough lines, and they're certainly not going to uh, hit us today. I just run forward for a day. So tomorrow you can see the troughs might be a bit more of an issue. It's going to be a lot more unstable uh, tomorrow, a lot more showery, perhaps. OK, spot winds today are indicating variable or um, southeasterly winds around about 10 knots. And uh, here's the cloud radar. So you can see this is the cloud associated with the cold front, merging and morphing into a warm front around there. And we're sort of sat in this nice little dryish uh, air uh, in the middle of it all. Um, there may be some showers later on. Uh, this cold front may affect Wales and give them a couple of showers later on, but otherwise we should be fine here. Rain radar is indicating that we're going to be clear uh, throughout the day. And the... A met forecast rain is indicated there's a lot of stuff over Europe and over Ireland. But actually, apart from some showers, which they may get in Wales later on uh, this afternoon, I think we're going to be devoid of rain here for the flying day. Uh, local forecast Bentworth is indicating uh, sunshine, uh, no rain at all here. Southeasterly flow, five knots or so, uh, medium to good visibility, and uh, UV index up at fives and six. So uh, again, be careful, please, with the sun. Uh, top temperature today indicating around about 17 degrees with a dew point down around about 11. Uh, current temperature at uh, Lasham is just off 15 degrees, dew point down at 11 and a light easterly flow. And Dave's forecast really is uh, cumulus around between two and two and a half. And this afternoon, Q to about three uh, locally. Uh, should be okay for a short local cross country. Uh, view outside the window. It's a nice, there's a little cumulus starting to form. They're probably around about 1500 feet at the moment. Um, the netar from Odium is, is not really that useful actually. Two knots from the northeast, broke cloud and fog 100 feet. Uh, and actually, it's only saying we're going to get clouds at uh, 400 feet. They're not forecasting the weather very well at all at, at Odium today and actually farmers not much better so although it says an hour ago try and refresh that again no it's still saying an hour ago so broken cloud at 200 feet uh, scattered cloud at 50 no not really much use as I'm afraid so let's go to top meteo it's indicating the southern half of the country is going to be obviously the place to be uh, there's a cold front literally through in York between Yorkshire and Glasgow that's where the cold front's running through uh, locally though we're looking at um Cloud base around about 3,300 feet from 10, 1030 thereabouts. Uh, two knot thermals and cumulus pretty well throughout the day. And we have uh, surface winds about 130, uh, three knots, four knots there, thereabouts. Sky site is quite similar. So potential flight distance is saying it's a little bit better, maybe. Uh, maybe three, 400 K even if you're brave. Uh, and the local forecast, the sky site is just... The queue just dropped off this again. I apologise. I'll quickly redo it. The queue just dropped off this um, uh, when I did it last. Let me quickly do it again. The queue should come back, pop back on. It's saying cumulus here to around about three, three and a half thousand feet. No more than that. A nice queue throughout the day. A bit of overcast perhaps later on. And the surface wind around about four knots, one six zero there or thereabouts. Sorbel height, 3,000, 3,500 feet. Uh, no TAMs today. We've got a few in the area. We're, we're familiar with most of them. 31 is the Ash Ranges again. Uh, 32 is uh, uh, Training Parachute Illuminates. 
um, which is at Minley. Uh, 28 is live firing at Barton Stacey. Uh, 39 is uh, paragliding East Challen. 42 is Otmore and 33, I mentioned the other day, um, paragliding devices. And 44, if you got that far, little reason to our parachuting today. So uh, airfield set up for today then. Uh, there is one movement today. It's a twin arriving at about 11.45. Uh, locally to an north south foot cloud base rising to 3.5 by midday. Uh, where the better in lands southeastly flow throughout the day. And we're going to set up on runway 09. Uh, if there is an appetite for a club grid, which I believe there might be today, we'll set that usual place to the south, uh, to the north, I apologise, on 09, starting a little further back uh, than normal. Uh, anything heavy uh, on the runway as usual. Uh, glide away, so we've got K21 on the booking list with Malcolm today. Uh, Mike's got a casual list, K uh, uh, his course K21, and we have one K21 and two K13s available for casual flying today. The new K21 uh, transferred from the trailer to the workshop, and four should be on its air test today, which is good news. Single-seaters SH6 and SH4 are still available, and a reminder about the buggies and the radios all working well, thank you. Uh, so the booking list, uh, this is for Malcolm George. Uh, John McAleely has uh, uh, cancelled, but I'd like him, please, he'd fly with Karen Kopuk first thing uh, in the K21. And all the single seats booked as normal. We do have uh, some instructors available. I've seen them in the workshop. So uh, in the in the uh, restaurant, we have a couple of K13 uh, refreshers, please. So there'll be some spinning and whizzy whizzy type things. Um I need a K13 a bit later on today for some launch failures. So runway setup, uh, fairly standard 09. We'll start off with the winch alongside the runway because the wind really isn't going to be that strong, three or four knots perhaps. Um, we may need to move it later on in the day, but I doubt we will. And the club grid, I've just moved a little bit further back. So we're starting almost perhaps the front of the grid, round about where the pay track you know, on the uh, western edge of the pay track, rather than 100 metres or so uh, inland should be good. And any stragglers or people that uh, want to take heavy off the runway, just go on the usual place, north side of the um, uh, runway uh, on the Oto side. OK, thanks very much, guys and gals. I shall see you out there shortly. Uh, Ron and I will both be out in the field throughout the day. Take care. Bye bye.